Another tech-savvy feature about the 2017 Chevrolet Silverado is the ability to be able to connect both Android Auto and, as I'm going to demonstrate in this video, Apple CarPlay. Notice this projection icon. That's the icon you're going to want to pay attention to when setting up your phone for Apple CarPlay. Setting up your iPhone for Apple CarPlay is easy. You're going to use the lightning port cable that came with your phone. Once inserted into the phone, you'll notice a blue bar on top and your phone will say Apple CarPlay. You'll also notice that this tile icon now says Apple CarPlay and that the Bluetooth is disconnected. When using Apple CarPlay, it's very similar to using the Chevrolet MyLink. However, the experience is much like that of any Apple device. You'll notice that the layout and the icons are very similar. You have a home button, you have your signal strength to your cell phone or Wi-Fi, you also have the time, and then you have the layout of your phone, music, maps, messages, what's playing now, if you have podcasts saved on your phone, audiobooks, and other related media. One of my personal favorites when using Apple CarPlay in the 2017 Chevrolet Silverado is while you're driving, you can summon Siri to get directions to just about anywhere. For this example, I'm going to push the voice command button that's located on the steering wheel. Find the nearest Starbucks coffee. The nearest one I found is Starbucks on Health Drive Southwest. Let me know if you want more information. With one touch of a button and one single voice command, you can find the Starbucks nearest you. If I want to go here, I just hit go. One thing that you'll notice is that any of the apps, such as Maps, when they're open, their icons will be stored over here. So if you want to get out of one app and be able to go back to, let's say, your music, you can see what's playing here, but instead of just hitting back button, I can go right to here and it'll take me to the destination that I was going to. This is handy if you're traveling and you need to bounce between different things such as maybe the radio and also GPS. Another great thing about using Apple Maps is, is that other destinations that you may have used before in the past are going to be stored because it's pulling it from your phone. Driving while staying connected is great using Apple CarPlay. If you receive a text message, you'll simply see the message right here. You don't have to even respond to it, but you know at least that you have a message. When you have time though, you can select the message. You have a message from someone with a 616 area code. Thank you for the email. I'll get right on it, L. Want to reply? Yes. Go ahead. No problem. I'll send you another email when I get to the office. Okay, it says. No problem, I'll send you another email when I get to the office. Ready to send it? Yes. I'll send your message. What I like about that is that you can make corrections in real time with sending a text message and using Siri. It's just like using your phone, except for you're not being taken away or distracted by what's going on here. I hope you appreciate this video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tinny Automotive channel for future how-to videos and video reviews on various Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac products.